Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll do our very last problem on the topic of weighted average. Today is our lesson number 390. 390. This problem that you see here on page number 300, uh, uh, this problem that you see here on the blackboard is a very same problem, very similar problem, right? not the same problem, it's a very similar problem to the one that you will find on page number 159, problem number 13, which we did day before yesterday. This particular problem that you see on the blackboard, it is something that we already did yesterday, but today we're going to redo it in a little bit different way, a different method, a different point of view, a different vantage point. You understand? Let's, let's take a look at it. We are given a table that shows the frequency distribution of a variable y right here. It says table below shows the frequency distribution of the values of the variable y. These are the values of the variable y, which is simply what is the mean of the distribution. One quarter appears four times, a half appears six times, three quarters appears nine times, five quarters appears twelve times, three halves appears ten times, and seven quarters appears nine times. Question is what is the mean value of the, of the variable y? Let's find out, shall we? Think of this, if it makes it easier for you, Think of this in terms of money. This is this is a similar question, similar question as I said to the one that we did uh, on page number 159, where they talk about a charity, uh, a charity event. Let's see if, if I can turn to page number. Oh, not page 159. I don't know why I have page 159. Yes, but turn to page number, turn to page number 132. If you look at page number 132. Where they talk about a charity event and different people gave money in the charity when they gave some charity. Think of this in terms of money and think of this as a charity event. So here's what's going on. We had four people who gave a quarter, a quarter, 25 cents, one quarter, they gave one quarter. We had six people who gave two quarters. Think we're going to solve this problem in terms of quarters. Instead of doing it like we did yesterday with the whole dollars, we're not going to do it in terms of dollars. We're going to do the problem today in terms of quarters. So six people gave how much money? Well, six people gave two quarters each uh, because a half is just two quarters if you multiply top and bottom by two over two then if you multiply the top and bottom by two that is it becomes two quarters of course a half a dollar is made up of two quarters so six people give two quarters nine people give three quarters four people give one quarter twelve people give five quarters ten people give six quarters everybody is putting quarters in the jar and ten people give six quarters Nine people gave seven quarters. Now it's very straightforward. All we have to do is count our quarters and we are done. Very straightforward. We don't have to do it in whole number. And we'll adjust, we'll, we'll convert our, the amount of, money, amount of quarters that we then, uh, collected. We're going to count the number of quarters that we collected. We're going to count how many quarters we collected from these people. And we're going to convert those quarters into dollars by simply dividing the number of quarters by four at the very end. Let's get going, shall we? So we have four people. We have four people who gave a quarter each. Four people gave quarter each, that's just four quarters. We have six people who gave two quarters. Two quarters, six people, and that's twelve quarters. We have nine people who gave three quarters each. They gave three quarters each. Nine times three is twenty-seven. We have twelve people who gave five quarters each. Well, that's sixty quarters we collected. We collected sixty quarters from these twelve people. We have 10 people who gave 6 quarters each. 6 quarters times 10 people, but well, that's again 60 quarters. And we have 9 people who gave 7 quarters each. 7 quarters, 7 times 9 is 63 quarters. Let's, let's find out how many quarters we have, shall we? Let's find out how many quarters we have. I should have written these numbers here so we could have saved this room over there. Let's do them over here. So we have 4, a 12, a 27, 60. I'd rather do the final calculation over there, 60 and 63. So we have 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 9 plus 2 is 9, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 4, 12 plus 4 is going to be 14, 16. 16, 6, carry 1. We have 6, 6, 6, that's 18, 18 plus 2 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22. Looks like we collected 226, don't put a dollar sign, this is not a dollar, these are not dollar amount that we collected, these are quarters. We collected 
226 quarters. From how many people? From how many people, I wonder? We have to figure out the frequencies. Let's find out. The, we're going to raise the thing. We don't need it here. Let's figure out the frequency, which of course we know if you have watched yesterday's video, you know it's 50 people. I remember it from yesterday. Let's find out. So as I add them, as I add them, I'm going to put them in red ink so you can see the logic, the, what, what's going on here. So we see a 9 here. Watch here. We see a 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. We're done. 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 plus 2 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 plus 10 is 40, and 40 plus 10 is 50. We have 50 people. Do you understand? So we're going to divide our 226 quarters. First, we're going to convert it into dollars. So we have 226 quarters, 226 quarters. How do you convert quarters into dollars? Well, if you have 8 quarters and if you want to convert them into dollars, we divide by 4 because there are 4 quarters in a dollar. So we're going to divide that by 4. Now, this amount represents the dollar. We're going to divide that by the number of people. We're going to divide that by, we're going to divide the number of dollars by n. There you go. That's your average contribution. Dollars per person. That's what we're looking for. The amount of money per person. 50, 226 divided by 4 and that quantity has to be divided by 50. Which of course can be written as 226 over 4 times 1 over 50. Right? Let's divide top and bottom by 2, shall we? Let, let me rewrite this 226 better. 226, we're going to divide top and bottom by 2. It's very simple. 4 is going to become 2, and we're going to 2, 2 has 1, 2, 2 has 1, 2, and 6 has 3, 2. So we end up with 1, 1, 3 on the top, 1, 1, 1, 3 on the top, and in the bottom we have 2 times 50. What? 2 times 50 is 100. Oh, what do you know? 2 times 50 is 100. We are done. The average contribution must have been $1.13. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.